let me out. <laughs> Uh, we decided to make a series of short Q&A videos uh, in order to answer all your questions. Thank you very much for all the questions that you posted under our post and also in the comments. There were a lot of questions and we decided to divide uh, them into several topics and just highlight, yeah, in each video highlight a, uh, a certain topic to make the videos shorter. Mm, and we will post these videos in between our renovation ones. So I will. I hope you will get your question. Your question answered. Uh, uh, Ilya will be in the meanwhile. Ilya, uh, sorry for all the noise, but Ilya will be fixing our window. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, we, when we bought the farm, the window was already broken, and we just left it like it is. But it's getting colder and strong wind. And, oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's better to to stop with at least the winds and all this. And I hope it will get a bit warmer in the house uh, when we will fix it. So yeah, uh, let me start. So let's start from uh, questions about us and about our cat, not ours, <laughs> about Anike. <laughs> so yeah, wait a just a moment. I have all the questions somewhere here. Okay, just someone asks, where do you come from and why did you move to Belgium? Uh, we already mentioned that we are coming from, both of us are coming from Ukraine. Uh, uh, and why did we come to Belgium? Uh, Ilya got a job offer and um, we always actually wanted to move to another country and we are, we are considering different countries like Czech Republic, USA, Germany as well but then just uh, it was a nice opportunity, a nice job so uh, we just moved <laughs> just moved uh, Slowberry asks how long have you been living in Belgium? we live here already for six and a half years yeah, six and a half yeah, something like that. It will be seven years in April for Ilya, I guess. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. can, uh, uh, also, just someone asks, can you talk fluently Dutch? Or is this about as good as your English? <laughs> yeah, the language is not my cup of tea. <laughs> so, so expect and ditch. <laughs> Uh, Netherlands, maar niet zo goed. Ja, ik versta. Versta, ik versta. Ja, yeah, ik versta, maar niet zo goed. Ja, dit is. Niet zo goed. Ik spreek wel uh, Nederlands, ik spreek beter dan Ilia. Versta zo 19% van de mensen zeggen, maar ja, ik, ik denk dat ik spreek ook niet zo goed. Uh, mijn uitspraak is. Ja, is veel erger dan in mijn huis. En uh, de mensen overal zeggen dat uh, die verstaan mij wel en ik spreek wel goed. Maar ja, we spreken altijd Engels op het werk, Russisch thuis. Also, Nederlands spreek ik alleen met de aannemers, met de ouders van de kinderen in, op school of uh, in, de gemeente, in, de, in het gemeentehuis. Hallo met Marina. Ja, ik heb wel gebeld en ik heb oh, ik een smsje gestuurd. Is het mogelijk uh, uh, een, een nieuwe boring te maken voor een bus? Also niet zoveel praxis, maar ja, uh, moet ik nog veel leren, denk ik. Ja, yeah, voor mij is het een beetje anders, want ik ben almost in every IT company hier. There are a lot of people from different countries or from different parts of Belgium. Parts of Belgium, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, parts of Belgium. Like French-speaking part as well. Yeah, usually yeah, the In main communication language is English, so... Same on my, on, uh, at my work. Also, everyone speaks English because of different origins of people coming in. And, yeah. So, English is a working language, our working language. So, and for me it's less practice because Marina take care about school and gymnastics. <laughs> 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 Marina! 
take steps in here. Ouch, 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 lost, sorry, just a moment. Maybe uh, just someone also suggests, suggests maybe speak some Dutch once in a while, that we did, <laughs> uh, or make a Dutch narrated channel for us. Also, I, we got the questions, maybe we should make a Russian narrated channel, because we speak Russian as well, or Ukrainian, <laughs> but it would be... For Dutch, uh, it would be much more difficult because our proficiency is less and it would be difficult. And also we want to, uh, to have our channel and to keep talking in English because right now it's such a multicultural port and uh, people in the comments you see from all different countries and it's such a pleasure to read the different experiences and let them people like i think english is really a universal language and a unique possibility to actually bring all people together so that's why we just want to keep uh, to keep our channel in english yeah yeah, and it will be also hard to maintain a few channels in different languages. Yeah, I just like having another channel next to this one in Russian or in Dutch. Uh, I would not be able to do it <laughs> no time. Yeah, we, yeah, Mar Marina tries to have all the subtitles, but yeah. they're only in Russian. Yeah, yeah, Russian, in because English. it's easier for me just... But, yeah, but also it's so, takes also, time. Also, yeah, all the time. Also English, because uh, the auto translate in English is pretty like when you go through it, yeah. <laughs> so I'll try also to upload it to upload English subtitles. Then the next one. Mm, how many languages languages do each or one speak? Beggy asks. Uh, Answer for myself. I speak uh, uh, Russian and Ukrainian, our native, my native languages, and we speak English. I speak Dutch. Uh, also, I uh, used to speak um, uh, German because I lived in Germany for one year, but uh, it was like 15 years ago, and I think it's very passive. Uh, uh, right now the knowledge is very passive. The Dutch and German are very similar and when I want to say something in, in German I, all the Dutch words are coming in. So uh, I would not say that I speak <laughs> German. I know German. And Ilya speaks Russian, Ukrainian, <laughs> understands Ukrainian. Yeah I, yeah, I don't speak Ukrainian very well because yeah, I live in Crimea and live in Crimea and the main was Russian and after that yeah I understand Ukrainian very well but uh, speaking would be harder uh, speaking would, yeah would be harder it will be a lot of Russian words in between <laughs> uh, and English yeah English a little bit of Dutch a little <laughs> bit of uh, Czech no <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of ba basics basics a little, yeah a little bit of all the Slavic languages it's like I understand what is written in Polish and uh, in Serbian, but it's really a little bit. Bruce asks, uh, "Are you?" And, and for me, I, it's really nightmare to learn to learn new languages. Like. <laughs> what you are doing good? Your English or Bruce? I don't know. <laughs> the next question, Bruce asks. Uh, sorry if I pronounce the names or nicknames not correctly. <laughs> are you happy you moved to Belgium? How are your children adjusting? Uh, let me answer. Yes, we are happy that we moved to Belgium. Uh, we got to know a lot of new people and we got to know a new culture and the people here are very friendly and uh, we're uh, always ready to help. And I have only positive experiences living here in Belgium. Also, when I talk English in the beginning, when I didn't speak Dutch, people were trying to help me out. And uh, uh, yeah, only positive. Uh, yeah. What is your experience, Elia? Mm, I think the same, <laughs> but I don't. I don't talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so 
It's yes, we are happy that we moved. Uh, we got to know a lot of new people actually, and a lot of new friends here in Belgium, and it's really cool. How the uh, kids are adjusting? I don't think that they are adjusting anymore. It's like six years ago that we moved. They were small, and Belgium is really like their country. They are happy to go back to Ukraine and to spend. Uh, holidays because it's holidays with their uh, grandparents and they are they like the freedom over there but uh, they are not adjusting anymore they just leave <laughs> they have a lot of friends go to school just normal kids life here all fine yes yeah i think it's for max for maxine it, it was what even easier because he was quite smaller. easier yeah he was smaller and he just starts speaking russian mm -hmm not even started just a yeah. couple of words when we came not a lot at not least. a lot so for kate it was a little bit harder because she needed yeah. few months she, she, she needed few months but when it was also very interesting to see when in the beginning it was difficult for her but after a few months when she got a friend uh, uh, to learn a new friend she actually started to be friends with a girl and it helped a lot to a uh, to, for her to adjust and to learn and to uh, yeah so uh actually getting a new friend was uh the key point turning point in uh successful uh, uh assimilation here for her yeah and the only uh, the only bad thing is that we are alone here i mean our family is in ukraine and with this corona it uh, becomes more and more difficult to uh, to visit each other so you ha have to wait and you don't have the possibility just to go for a weekend to the um, uh, grandmother or the grandfather Beth asks uh, has Ilya quit his job to do this full time <laughs> no he didn't of course <laughs> he no. works as usual full time me as well and uh, we do not plan to quit our jobs Uh, Barbara asks, how many hours a week are you able to give to the house? Oh, usually it's weekends, two days, uh, and yeah, in the evening. Depends on situation, if something uh, urgent. urgent, yeah, I've three times. So two days? Yeah, usually, usually two days. I try to keep it two days or, yeah, depends on... Two, two evenings during the weekdays and uh, weekends. Uh, just someone also asks... And, and holidays <laughs> and vacation. <laughs> Do you ever ask for help from friends or family? Um, uh, as I already mentioned, f uh, family is not living here in Belgium, our family. So we uh, no possibility to ask for help and uh, our friends we do ask sometimes but usually we are not used to ask for help we just used to do everything ourselves if it's pretty difficult then we ask but uh, yeah normally we just count on our own time forces and yeah then uh, yeah <laughs> also alpi do you use someone's help or just make everything by yourself but I will refer it from a different angle. Yes, we use uh, the help of the contractors when uh, we cannot do this job ourselves. Or it will take us too much time to do the job, and uh, we ask, uh, yeah, we just hire the contractors to do the job, like the roof. Uh, the learning curve to build a new roof would be too gro too big, and it would take too much time for us. It's so not, we it's just not too are, hard. It's just it's not hard. It's Time, it's you know. just time, really time, time consuming. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Sean, 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 I guess I'm sorry. Asks, where do you guys learn all those skills? Uh, Google. <laughs> YouTube. Google and YouTube. <laughs> All, also some uh, white paper, some uh, documents uh, when we were reading about the lime and. Uh, slime mortar and the way to uh, inject our walls against the rising damp um, but mainly yes as everyone doing the research 
and to use all the possible sources. Also, there are uh, ha not help, but the knowledge of uh, mm, yeah educated people, engineers, kind of architects, uh, stability engineers. So all possible information is welcome. <laughs> Um, uh, first, Jan Han asks, will you make a video of something traditional you cook at home when the kitchen will be finished? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it will be like uh, in a very long perspective, so mm, yeah. Don't, pro <laughs> Don't promise. This part where the kitchen is, it will be the second phase of the project. So maybe on our temporary kitchen. Yes, I would. I would. Uh, who takes care of your kids where, uh, when you are away for long to work on the house? Eva asks. Um, when we were uh, away for the whole day, uh, we um, brought our kids to our friends. Uh, right now our mother came and she is taking care of the kids as well. Uh, but uh, if it's only two, three hours, uh, then we just leave them at home because they are pretty big already and they can stay at home alone and there is no problem. They are even happy <laughs> to have some time for themselves without parents. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy that they quite quite small because it will be some parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they cannot organize parties yet. So. <laughs> First, Ken Han also asked, what are your children's thoughts on the farm? They are very happy. <laughs> Uh, with uh, our purchase, because we also asked when we were buying this farm, we asked them, do they want to leave? Are they uh, are they okay with having this renovation for long term and to like live in a build yeah, renovation mode? They agreed and they chose. Uh, they have chosen their uh, like favorite places that they like, like this uh, bake house. They consider to be their shelter future future shelter so they are pretty happy and when they come here they spend a lot of time with their neighbors with their animals dogs uh, um, horses so all kind of uh, animals they love animals very much so they are happy but of course they don't when, like work. When it comes to work, no, not every time they are happy. It depends on kind of work. Like painting, find, uh, they find very interesting, but some work it's uh, they don't like. <laughs> but as, as always, we do same with us, yeah. Then uh, about Annika, <laughs> a lot of questions about Annika. Uh, is the cat a pop in France? A straight? No. Uh, she is a beloved cat from our neighbors and uh, they, live, they love her, but uh, I think it's Annika who decides where she's gonna live and uh, she just uh, come to us and live at our house because, uh, I don't know, she wants... Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe because also our neighbors have two big dogs. Yeah, they have dogs. Maybe... And... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but she really likes sleeping in our attic. Yeah, of the barn is like yeah. yeah, every time when we uh, we are coming, she is getting down from the attic, like uh, meeting us and greeting us. Or she just wants to make sure that we do everything correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And uh, did you know that Annika was going to be the star of your <laughs> channel? No, <laughs> we didn't, of course, no. Yeah, and it was really, uh, um, yeah. But she she has such a nice character and like a strong personality, really a nice cat, yeah? She's really curious. Really curious, but and... cautious. Curious and cautious. So she checks, but keeps the distance all the time. And... Uh, uh, we, uh, in the beginning, we thought that uh, she had no uh, owners because she was all the time here and she was like uh, really uh, just here. Yeah, like cat, cat of the house. And we thought that it belo she belongs to the house and uh, we actually inherited her for, as well. But uh, later we learned that no, 
She has the own us. It's getting colder. <laughs> I'm really cold a bit. And I guess my nose is getting red uh, is getting red. <laughs> you to share. Yes, a shame. <laughs> Standing here like I don't know. Now Heather also asks, uh, is your neighbor aware of how much time she spends with you? Yes, he knows. <laughs> he knows about our channel. They know about our channel and uh, they have seen Annika <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yonel asks, does cat, in cat inspector live on the farm? We think she, she does. Uh, at least she sleeps in our attic. Yeah, and maybe she lives all the time here. We just... Not sure. Mm. Have you entered... Should I call? General, this is my favorite. Now you can hold. This is my first cut in my life. Oh my god, this is so reassuring, Ilya. <laughs> Let me put it aside. Yeah, it's my fault. Let me show you what he needs. It's small. But he just made two here. So yeah, next question. Next question. Let's keep it short. I hope it will be short. Uh, the next question. Have you introduced Annika to your cat? Do they get alone? No, we don't because our cat is at home and we do not bring uh, him here and uh, she is here but i really hope they will get alone uh, when we uh, finally move in i don't know how they will behave and uh, yeah let's see i hope i i really hope that they will get alone now very good uh once you move in and uh, it's gopal who asks once you move in and if Annika does so too, will your neighbor mind? <laughs> uh, you know, it's not, I guess it's not our neighbor or we who decides uh, what Annika will do. I think it's Annika who decides and what, yeah, I don't know what's gonna be on in her mind. I would not mind, I would be very happy if she will keep living with us, but let's see. <laughs> And the last three questions. Uh, TP asks, how is Ilya back doing lifting so much heavy all the time? Training, training. But how is uh, your back doing? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. What Ilya is listening? <laughs> it's there are there were many questions in the comments on the many videos from Brian Wood. Uh, what Ilya is listening when doing uh, some tedious work? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's music, but usually I'm I'm lis listening some podcast. Podcast. Last time it was a series of lectures by Sipolsky. Sipolsky. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'll post it here. It's, yeah, hu lectures. human behavioral. Well, well, I don't remember the hurts. Was it interesting? Yeah, yeah. It's how people behave. And what kind of music do you listen? Uh, everything, but yeah. I'm, I'm growing up on Prodigy, <laughs> trance, I don't know, all this hardcore music. So. Also, rock, it's, it's really like 
mix of everything. Yeah, yeah. he has Spotify, so it just yeah, I just mix. I just put everything in one playlist and whatever ran comes, random. Whatever comes. <laughs> and the last question. Da -da 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 -dum. Da -da -da -dum. I just want to know. Kerry asks. I just want to know the key to your endless energy. <laughs> That's a very nice question to end this Q&A. <laughs> where, where do you take all this energy? We need to move as <laughs> soon as possible. Actually, it's also the attitude, because if, you're, if, you, uh, if you see it as your hobby, if you enjoy the process itself, it's just like... It, yeah, it's, qui it's, yeah, it's, it's qui quite a hobby. It's like some people running, some people biking, some people went to gym and go to gym. Yeah, go to gym. Gym. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's more or less the same. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. I, I'm trying some new stuff. It's quite interesting, and it's really opposite what I'm doing for. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, for you my work. life because it's laptop and typing so it's totally different activities yeah same uh, also it's a lot a uh, lot of new things that you learn uh, having also a youtube channel something completely different that we used to do and it's a lot of fun but also a lot of work and but i guess the key is uh, like like keep it fun if it uh, brings your yeah energy itself so you don't look for an energy the work that you do is actually giving you the energy to continue but sometimes yeah sometimes it's just upsetting. like no i just want to lay on a sofa and do nothing <laughs> right now we cannot afford a lot to just lay on the sofa because we want to move in as soon as possible and we're, that's would be a nice bridge to another video uh in the next video i would like to answer all the questions about the farm also to show you and also to go and show you the boundaries i got a lot of questions about the boundaries about our land uh, and what we are currently doing and um, yeah all, all the questions about the farm we will highlight in the next video so if you have some if you Wait a <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few moments. So, if you have any questions about the farm, uh, please ask. Their future, our future plans uh, will be highlighted in the next video. So. Okay, I'm done. Thank you very much for your questions. See you next time. Bye. Bye.